Hello friends, this is the first installment of my video blog. I've decided to start keeping a video blog <coughs> to document my travels in China. Uh, I'm not in China yet, I'm in Houston. This is my, my mother's house in Houston. It's very nice, yes. It's like a hundred years old. Um, so, tomorrow I'm going to head off on my journey for California, uh, where I'm going to sell my truck and fly to China. Um, on February 1st. Here's my route that I have planned. Let's see if I can manage to do this stupid, stupid roadmap thing for you YouTube people. All right, starting in Houston, I'm going to travel up through Austin real quick to tie up a few loose ends and then head going backwards in my mind. Down I-10. Down I-10, uh, 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 there, all the way through El Paso, there, there's El Paso, and then I'm going to go to the other side of the map to Las Cruces, New Mexico, there's Las Cruces. Go do 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 where I'm gonna buy a dream catcher or a bunch of dream catchers to give as gifts. I figure something American to give the Chinese. Then I'm gonna to go to Tucson where I will get an EG's, which is a frozen beverage, local to Tucson, as well as a Sonoran hot dog, which is a hot dog wrapped in bacon with beans and other things in it. Um, then I'm gonna go do 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 do. Stupid fucking roadmaps. I really hate roadmaps. I shouldn't have sworn. I just made this video PG 13. Um, do 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 through to California, LA. Just go do 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 all around LA. Get lost like I always do. Then go up Highway One, the most beautiful drive. Uh, highway One, most beautiful drive in the country. Yeah, there we go. Up to Santa Cruz, right around here, and then San Francisco, where I will. Uh, why, ah, see that line going in the Pacific Ocean? That's me going to China. So, that's my intended route. Um, any Californians watching, if you want to buy my truck, it's a 2004 Mazda B2300. It's in excellent condition. I've crossed the country like five or six times in it. It has about 90,000 miles on it. And it's missing its radio because a crackhead stole it. But it's a very reliable vehicle. So, I'm going to, just don't mind me, I'm just going to make some tea here. Uh, here's a little trick. I've filled my guy wine with hot water to warm it up, and now the water is much, much cooler than what it was before. It's actually not very hot at all, but it's still hot enough to make green tea with, so I've got some high mountain clouds and mist here. There you go. You see that? Gao shan yun guo in Chinese. I need to start practicing speaking Chinese. So now my vessel's all warm and ready to go, and my water is more or less ready to go, and I can just go bloop, and it's just about the right temperature now, and um, I want to show you the bowl that I just poured the tea out of. This is my nicest piece of old ceramics that isn't teaware. This is a, a pierced rice bowl from the Qing Dynasty. You can see this is the uh, 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 imperial seal on the back there. I think Qianlong, maybe. I, I think it's Qianlong. I see Qian, but I don't know if they see Long. But um, anyways, one of these Chinese emperors was the emperor when this bowl was made. And so it was like a long time ago, more than 100 years ago. It's an old, old bowl. And um, the way you can tell these from the modern crappy replicas is, first of all, you can tell it's hand-painted. There's a bat there, right there. See? That's a bat. And uh, also, boom, you can see the, the new ones don't do this because... They just have a rice pattern design on them, but this is actually pierced out so there's no clay um, in those rice dots. They're actually just glaze. So, pretty neat. Uh, I couldn't find the video cassette tape of my last gig in Austin, so unfortunately I won't be able to post my last gig in Austin. Those of you who were there got the event of a lifetime, and no one will ever know what it was like except for you. 
I did, however, find the videos of me shaving my head. This is one week hence. My hair is already growing back in pretty quickly. And I have a beard now, pretty much all the way. This is about as beardy as I get. But I will be playing songs for you on my blog. Every day I will play a different song. I don't know if I'm going to blog every day. We'll see. I'm going to try to blog every day. It's already pretty harrowing. Let's see if I can play this song all the way through without messing up and having to re-record it. <clears throat> so, I love to go, but I hate to leave. And this song is about leaving and how sad and terrible it is. And specifically, this was written for a particular person um, to say goodbye. But it applies to all of you. Except for those of you who I'm going to see in China. This is not for you. All right, let's get the, get, gotta get this close so the microphone can pick up my subtle finger picking. This song doesn't really have a name. my goodbye song to all y'all Americans. Goodbye, America. Goodbye, Americans. I love you all very much. And uh, I will continue to write you from China. Until then, keep drinking tea and 
getting your antioxidants. And I will see you blog-wise tomorrow or maybe the next day. All right, goodbye.